Welcome to the Phoenix Real Estate Week in Review. My name is David Meek. This is the Week in Review for the week ending August 31st, 2019. I'm filing my report today from the beautiful Yellowstone National Park in Northwest Wyoming. A couple minutes ago, we just had some buffalo uh, cross in front of the car and there was a traffic jam and everybody stopped and they took their time leisurely eating and crossed the street. Uh, a really special experience, and I'll, I'll send those, uh, I'll post those photos in this video too. Um, I want to issue a correction from last week uh, about the numbers that I gave for the state versus national first loan mortgage delinquency rates published by Black Knight Financial in June. The correct numbers are 2.7% delinquent loans for Arizona, 3.73% nationally. And that's for loans that are 30 days or more overdue. So Arizona is looking good there. Uh, we are still below the national average and we couldn't say that 10 years ago. Uh, these were the, I'm sorry, July 2019 figures. So the, re, re, the real estate market in Phoenix right now is very brisk in most price points, especially in the $200,000 to $500,000 price points as we have discussed. Very little inventory in that $200,000 to $500,000 range. If you're a seller, uh, that's great. If you're a buyer, you're probably frustrated. Uh, it's important to point out uh, a lot of the national news right now concerning real estate uh, the tone of that news is that the real estate market is cooling and it's important to separate out uh, Phoenix from the regional market from the national market because we are uh, doing great we're, we're very strong in Phoenix right now relative to the rest of the nation that's plateauing or cooling off we continue to um, go gangbusters and leading into that story it's um, uh, the August 27th Case, Case Schiller Home Price Index, Phoenix just passed Las Vegas this month. This is a report that came out on August 27th to take the top spot nationally among the top 20 largest housing markets in the country. Now that's when you're measuring year over year price gains. Phoenix came in at 5.8% uh, for the year ending in June 2019. So a solid showing for for Phoenix there. Phoenix also leads the nation in multifamily rent growth, which uh, means there is no reprieve for apartment renters right now in, in Phoenix in the near term uh, who, who want to buy. Catherine Rager at the Arizona Report just uh, wrote an excellent article in the last week and a half about the uh, rising rents in Phoenix, and they have been just on an upward tear since 2012. And she had an excellent point in that article, and that point was uh, there's a lot of cranes around Phoenix. There's a lot of apartment projects going up. You would assume that that would satisfy uh, that demand. But as Catherine stated in her article, most of those apartments are luxury apartments and they go for $1,000 a month or higher. Uh, so that uh, that's happening right now. Not much available as far as apartments uh, or single family homes for that matter on the bottom of the price range. So Phoenix also leads the Southwest region in single family rents uh, with a year over year increase of 7.1% according to court, uh, core logic. Nationally, that same number, uh, the single family rents nationally are 2.9% year over year for the year ending in June. So 7.1% growth uh, in Phoenix in year over year rents for single family and 2.9% year over year for the nation. 30-year fixed mortgage rates fell slightly this week according to bankrate.com from 3 uh, to 3.69% from 3.75% that we, we reported last week. Uh, that 3.69% has an APR of 3.1%. That's a purchase loan, not an investment loan. 20% down, $300,000 purchase price with a minimum 740 credit score. Your situation may vary. 3.69% 30-year fixed rates this week. So Phoenix is a t uh, among the top national markets where uh, the iBuyer company, Open Door, is entering the mortgage business. Uh, and they're rolling out uh, their loan produ uh, products this year for, for home buyers. Open Door has helped over 50,000 home buyers and sellers to date and wants to speed the process by cutting the time it takes to get a mortgage in half. Um, I'll be watching that. Open Door, entering the mortgage business. Now, the uh, National Association of Realtors released a study this summer that shows, on average, how one Arizona residential real estate transaction injects $84,425 of economic impact into our state's economy. Uh, so, that's about it. I, I just interviewed Dallas Tanner 
Uh, Dallas Tanner is the CEO of Invitation Homes based out of Texas. His company owns 7,600 single family homes in Arizona. They are a publicly held company. They're traded on the New York Stock Exchange. They own 80,000 single family homes nationwide. And I brought him onto the Arizona Reports uh, in an upcoming episode that will air this week to let people know what their plans are uh, in for invitation homes in the Phoenix market because they own about one percent, I'm sorry, half of a percent of all the single family homes uh, in the city. So that's uh, an interview to watch. Dallas Tanner, Invitation Homes coming up. Well, that is about it for the Arizona Report Week in Review for the week ending August 31st, 2019. My name is David Meek, uh, Arizona realtor and real estate broker. To find out more about my thoughts on the Phoenix real estate market, to see my website at ArizonaReport.com or call me in the studio, 480-999-MOVE. That's 480-999-6683. Until next time, we'll see you then.